Hello again. Welcome back to Bunny Ballistics. It's Hotomi here. Today we are going to be doing some more Federal HSTs, except these are in 357 SIG. So that's exciting. Um, anyways, before we go forward, I want to make sure if you are not subscribed and would like to be, before you forget, just go ahead and hit that sub button. And uh, go ahead, hit the like button, or wait till the end. Make sure you like the video. Um, and comment at the end, please. Okay. Uh, that's all I really have for you for right now. Let's get to our um, our tool and uh, ammo. Let's check it out, shall we? Hm. All right, y'all. So here we have our uh, Federal HST and 357 SIG. Uh, these are a 125 grain projectile and they have a uh, box velocity of 1360, 1360 FPS. We'll get you maybe a little shot of them here. You can see kind of very nice nickel plated, also sealed primer. So very nice. And then on top of that, this is what we are shooting it with. We have our P226 uh, from Sig Sauer. Really nice gun. All right. Oh, and it's a, about a four and a half inch barrel on this guy, just so you guys know. And uh, let's get into doing our chronograph test, shall we? Alrighty guys, this is some of our favorites. We have 357 SIG. These are going to be our HSTs. Look at how pretty these are. Alright. And of course we got our P226 to shoot these lovely ladies out of. Let's see what our average turns out to be. Fourteen seventeen, fourteen fifteen, and thirteen eighty four. Wow, that's what I like to see. These guys are actually going pretty fast. Thirteen sixty at the muzzle is what it says in the box, but we got much better than that, I think, didn't we? Awesome! I think it's uh, it's probably even more fun. It's probably gel time, I think, guys. Woohoo! 357 SIG HST. I mean, look at that freaking beauty. I know it's kind of mixed in with the other, but like, boy, that is freaking crazy. See, see from the side how just freaking big it is. It does kind of disappear. Let's see, it just kind of stops. And then actually the bullet is in between both of our gel blocks. So we're about 13 inches there. That's pretty interesting. Uh, we'll pull it out uh, after we shoot our denim and uh, see what they both look like. All right, denim shot, here we come. Okay, 357 HST through denim. Oh, oh wow, I did not even realize that. 
Look at that. It just kind of blew the top off, didn't it? Look at that. I think. Yeah, there's definitely pieces in there. There it is. You can actually, I don't know if you can see it, because my phone doesn't know how to focus. But there's a, there's a piece of denim. When, I'll, I'll freaking show you when I pull it out. There, you can kind of see it. There's a ball of denim in there. Okay. Still expanded really well. One, two, about 16 and a half. Ah, that was really good. I mean, HSTs are always good, but it's even better that it was a 357, you know? <laughs> but uh, let's pull these out and let's take a look. All right, guys, we get to see the weights and we get to see what these pulled bullets look like. But first, let's go ahead and we'll grab the weight from this. And they're 125 to begin with, so 123.3. So it definitely lost a little bit of something there, didn't it? You can get it to focus. So that's what that looks like. It definitely folded over and expanded very well. Look at that. Another beautiful HST. Not as pretty as the 40, but it definitely looks like it does the job. Okay, so let's go back and check out our denim one, shall we? So our denim one, as you guys know, has a plug of denim in it. <laughs> and even with that in it, it's 123.1 out of, uh, I suppose, the 125. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like up close. So look at that. You can see the denim in it. It is, as far as I know, pretty, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty hard and solid. You can even hear it. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Look at that. I'm actually going to zoom out just a little bit here. There you go. So let's compare it with our bear. So the bear definitely opened more, as usually it does, since it has nothing really resisting it or slowing it down. And there you can kind of see the difference. The bear one folded over so much more, it's really ridiculous. But, um,. Yeah, very cool, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll get to uh, doing our uh, diameters now. All right, and as we've been doing, we're going to take three measurements, and I will put the um, average on our Google Docs sheet, and that link is in the description for you all. So this is our bear gel right now, and we have a 0.625, and then we have a 0.719, that's fairly big, jeez, and then our last is 0.611. Now we will go on to our denim. And for our first denim, we have 0 0.610. And for our second, we have 0 0.605. For our last one, we have 0 0.620. All right, my bunny tribe of friends. That was our uh, Federal HST 357 SIG. Um, what do you guys think of them? 
I mean, they're HSTs after all, so they they did fairly well in my opinion. The bear gel might have been a little shallow at like the 13 and a half mark, but otherwise I still think it was a pretty good shot. Um, the denim uh, turned out much better, 16 and a half or so. So that worked out really well. So I think these are fantastic rounds. I think the velocity they had was actually amazing as well. Box velocity was 1360 and um, a lot of those shots felt higher than 1360, but I mean, I love it. That's, that's what 357 SIG is supposed to be. It's supposed to try and mimic a 357 Magnum. Try, as close as it can. <laughs> But that's about all we have for you today. Um, if you liked it, like it. If you didn't, tell me why. Uh, make sure to comment and sub. Also, right now on my Patreon, I'm having kind of a giveaway. The first 10 that sign up, I will send you some stickers. And then you have a choice of um, maybe ex an expanded ammo bullet that I've already shot that you might like. Um, or even a bullet I haven't shot that you might like that might be more rare that I have if you would like that and or I will try and cast some bullets if people want them um, I'm willing to do like a 50 pack for people depending on how many I get for that and they will be powder coated and size just so you guys know I guess I haven't said that yet but they will be technically usable if you want, or if you want, I can leave them just bare lead, whatever you want. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you did, really appreciate it. I will see you next time. I love you guys. Bye.